today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 20 under 20 beauty products. And this is stuff from like Sephora and MAC, a couple drugstore things, um, a couple I guess international things which is kind of cool. I've been wanting to do this video for you guys for a while just because I want to share with you guys what's good out there. And I have a lot of makeup as you can tell from this little thing behind me. Um, but I just want to share with you guys what's amazing and what's like worth your money. All the products I mentioned in this video are between like 10 and 20 dollars. Um, but if you want me to do like a 10 under 10 video, I think I might I've already done one, but I can do an updated one. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I think this video might be a little long, so let's just get into the products. So the first thing I have is by MAC, and it's their Pro Longwear Concealer. And this concealer is seriously like the most heavy duty stuff I've ever tried. I actually got this in my swap with Felicia, so thanks Felicia, I'm still loving it. But you literally only need the tiniest bit when you use this, and it covers up everything you needed to cover and it really genuinely does stay on all day. I don't even have to set this stuff with a powder and it still stays on so it's pretty amazing. The next thing I have is by Tarte and it's their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I used it today and I'm just like oh this is probably in my top like three favorite mascaras ever and it's in the $20 range and it's amazing. It gets just really good volume but also like balances out with good length and I just really love it. Next thing I have is a lip product and it's by Clinique and it is their Black Honey Lipstick. This is seriously an old school product for me but this is what it looks like. It looks really intimidating because it looks black but it's like a jelly consistency so it goes on super super sheer and just gives you a really good wash of color. It's just a really good go to for every day and I love it. The next thing I have is actually something that I have in a sample size but I definitely plan on buying full size and it is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Trooper which is just black and this stuff is literally the best. Like I like it better than the Stila Stay All Day one and that's because the tip is kind of like a paintbrush, if you will, not just like a felt tip, it's like little paintbrush fiber things, and it just glides on so easy, it's so black, it stays on all day, it's seriously like the best. Next I have a pencil liner and it's by Mally and it's one of their Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliners and I just have the black one. It's in the shade Black Velvet and literally this liner is so much better than any of the other pencil liners I've tried. But this is the one that stays on the longest for me and it doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't lose its like vibrancy and it's just such a good product. Okay, so this product is cheating a little bit because it's $21, but I definitely think that it's worth the extra dollar. And they are the Clinique Cheek Pops blushers and I have two but I want like so many more. I have the one in Ginger Pop and the one in Plum Pop and first of all the packaging is just super cute but they're really really good blushes. They're not like intensely pigmented where they're hard to use and you have to be really careful with how much you pick up but it's just a really buildable beautiful product. I don't know, it's just like a good blush for like everyday wear and they just came out with like eight new colors and I just really want like all of them so I really like them. The next thing I have should be no surprise to anybody and it is my beauty blender. This baby is $20 which is a lot for a sponge but it's literally the most amazing sponge you'll ever use. I used it today for my foundation which is why it's all big and dirty um, but it's just so 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 good. It makes your foundation, any foundation, look flawless and skin like and it's just... You just need to try it. You do. Next, I have the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick. I have one full size and then one travel size, but I love them. First of all, I really love the packaging. I feel like it's really expensive looking, but it's only like $18. All you have to do is like move this little thing down and then it pops out. The color I have is in Be Free, which is like a super nude. But I love these because they're super, super opaque. But they're still like comfortable all at the same time. They're a nice like cream finish and they're just good. Next I have like an eyeshadow kind of thing. It's by Josie Moran and it's the Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow. And it's like a liquid to powdery kind of eyeshadow. It's super, super cool, especially for the summertime. This one's in the color Rio de Rose Gold. And it's essentially just like a liquid eyeshadow. I don't know, it's so weird, but it's super pigmented. And it just broke. Oh no, what am I going to do? 
This is awkward. Moving on. So the next thing I have is the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. And my lids are super, super oily, just like naturally. So most primers don't really work that well on me, but this one works super, super, super well. I love it. I've been using it for maybe close to a year now, and there's still plenty of product left. So this next product is cheating a little bit um, because it's a travel size, and I know the full size is definitely like well over $20, but the travel size isn't, and it's a really big travel size. And it's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Travel Size Edition. I freaking love this tinted moisturizer. It's seriously one of the best because it actually gives you coverage, but it's still, you know, a tinted moisturizer. And I have the shade Nude. Um, they come in like two shades for this travel size shade, so if you're lucky enough to be in one of those shades, then definitely get a travel size because it's still like a really good value. This lasts me literally like all year. Next thing I have is one of those like international products I was talking about, and it's the Bourjois Paris Dulce de Powder I don't know bronzing powder and it's like the chocolate looking one and it looks like this and it's just a really good bronzer and it smells like chocolate you can find this on ASOS along with a lot of other like cool European brands I believe it's like $15 which isn't that bad for a bronzer and it's free shipping and I don't know I just really love it and the packaging is really cute so love this next thing I have is kind of a broad thing but it's MAC eyeshadows these are two of my palettes that are more like on the neutral side. I have one more that's like colorful that I never really, you know, use, but I have. And MAC eyeshadows are just super, super good quality, especially if you get them in the pans. They're only $10. A couple of my favorites are obviously like Naked Lunch and um, what's this one? All that glitter. Satin Taupe is also a really good one. Um, I have like nylon, I can't remember if it's this one or this one, but it's also really good. Vanilla is really good. If you want to see like a my top MAC eyeshadows video, I can clearly definitely do it for you guys because I have a lot, um, but they're just really, really good. So, yeah. Next, I have the Kors Lip Butters, and these are about $12 at Sephora, and they're so good. They're just like a tinted lip balm, but super, super moisturizing. I have the shade Pomegranate and... Quench, I think. Um, this one's more coral and this one's more berry. But this is what they look like on the inside and they just give you a beautiful wash of color with all this moisture, which is just awesome. And I really love these. Next thing I have is actually a body product, but I feel like it still counts, so I threw it in here anyways. And it is the Soap & Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. I love this body scrub. This is the second one I've gone through, or I'm going through, I guess. And it's literally just a really good body scrub that smells like a margarita. And if you know me and follow me on like Instagram or something, you know how much I love a margarita. And I want my whole body to smell like a margarita, obviously. Next product I have is a classic, and it's by Stila, and it's their kitten eyeshadow. If you haven't tried Kitten, I don't know where you've been. Clearly you haven't tried anything from Stila because they throw Kitten and absolutely everything. But this was one of my very first like eyeshadows I've ever used. It's just such a good, amazing, everyday champagne lid shade. And it's just, it's so good. Like you cannot go wrong with Kitten. It's amazing. Next thing I have is another one of those like broad topics. And they are MAC lipsticks. And I have a lot. I don't have like as many as you would think. I'd have but I do have a good bit of them but they're just so good I have like Angel I have Brave which is also really good I have Syrup which is really good and then the one I have right now is the one I'm wearing and it's called um, Craving and it's just like a bit of a deeper pinky berry shade no I really like it this one's an amplified so it goes on super super pigmented and it's just super good I also really like the smell of them because they smell like vanilla cupcakes next thing I have kind of goes with the lipstick and it is this lip gloss by Urban Decay and it's one of their naked lip glosses in the shade naked and it's just a really good basic lip gloss there's nothing much to it I know a lot of people kind of complain that these are really sheer but I mean they're called naked lip glosses so I don't expect them to be like super opaque but I just really like these just that they're on over anything I put it on over the MAC lipstick today and I feel like it just kind of complements everything and I really like these because they are not sticky at all but they still like stay on for a good amount of the day for a lip gloss so I'm really liking these next I have a hair product which you know I feel like still counts 
and it is the L'Oreal Paris El Net Satin Hairspray. And this is kind of expensive for, you know, a drugstore hairspray, but it's so freaking good. It has such a super fine mist where it doesn't feel like your hair is like crunchy or anything, but it holds your hair all day. Like I use it every single day when I curl my hair and it's just amazing. This is like probably my third or fourth bottle and it's just like good stuff. And for my final product, I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. And unfortunately, I do not believe you can get these in the United States. I know I've heard some people finding the concealer of this, the Wake Me Up Concealer, at like some Walmarts. But I don't think they sell this in the States, which is weird because it's such a good foundation. I bought this off of ASOS. Um, I'll link it down below. And I'm in the shade... Where is the shade? Um, True Ivory, which is kind of like my summer color. And this is just such a good foundation. First of all, it has pump. Second of all, it just looks super, super natural and glowy. And like you've just been kind of sitting out in the sun all day, but like not in a burnt kind of way, if you know what I mean. Um, it's really, really good. It's probably between like $13 and $15 off of ASOS or a website like that, just because, you know, it is technically international. <sighs> It's just so good. Like, it's so good. I can't get over it. So that completes my 20 under 20 products video list thing. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see, like, a 10 under 10 um, video. I can definitely do that next. And also, let me know if you want to see what are my favorite MAC eyeshadows or MAC products in general because I do have quite a bit. Um, but that is everything. Don't forget to check out my social media. Everything's linked down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. And that's everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.